What's up, people? Joe Winko here, your favorite Hawaiian guy. And here's my next episode of Joe Winko Talk. Now, what I'm going to be talking about is a news story that went was um, that a lot of people were talking about in year 2014. A lot of people on YouTube were talking about it. But apparently, stuff takes a long time to reach me for some reason. I don't know why. So, it's this girl. She tried uh, having her whole family killed by this one guy she met on Facebook, but then she ended up getting in trouble. And uh, it's kind of a long story for me to explain, but this video will explain it for you. Here's a news video of what apparently happened. I'm going to play it right now. A Tuscaloosa County teenager is accused of plotting a murder for hire. Investigators say she befriended a man on Facebook to carry out the plan, but as ABC 3340's Isaiah Harper reports, the person she tried to hire turned out to be the person she wanted dead. Really? 19-year-old Marissa Williams is behind bars in Tuscaloosa. About a week ago, she was living with her aunt in this home off Sylvan Loop Road in Fosters. Police say Williams had a dispute with her aunt over men she was inviting over. They were having some uh, disputes in their living arrangements, and the, the aunt had befriended her on Facebook. Investigators say the aunt started snooping, created a fake Facebook page, called herself Trey Top Dog Ellis, and befriended her niece. According to court documents, Williams asked Trey to shoot her aunt, her aunt's fiance, cousin, and their dogs, even explained how to do it. The Why do you want to kill the dogs? Of her That's family messed members, up. Uh, began to happen. How did that come about? The, the suspect in the case initiated the, the conversation. Well, that's when the ad brought the evidence here to the Tuscaloosa County Sheriff's Office and Williams was arrested for solicitation of murder and actually investigators say they would recommend any parent to do exactly what the aunt did. You can monitor and do what you can to monitor you know what your children are accessing on the internet and what they're doing to the you know their their limitations on computers there's restrictions that you can have on your cell phones that's, uh, they just need Children. to take all precautions. She's not a kid. She's in Tuscaloosa County, Isaiah Harper, ABC 3340. Williams is in the Tuscaloosa County Jail. Her aunt declined a request for an interview. She asked for prayers for her family, including her niece. <laughs> She's going to need a lot more than prayers. She's going to need a couple years behind bars and some mental help, probably. So, yeah, that's what happened. Uh, crazy story here, but... I think that girl was really stupid. First of all, she, they're talking about her like she's a kid, but she's 19 years old. At 19 years old, you're an adult. Well, you're past the adult age at 19 years old. She should have moved out, but why does she have to have her parents get killed? Because she's inviting strange men over to the house? First of all, if she wants to meet up with a bunch of strange men, what she should have done instead was she should have just went out with the strange men and just went to their house instead and not invited them over. But, uh, this girl didn't have to have her aunt get killed. That's who she was living with. She didn't have to have her aunt get killed, but she was probably really mad at her aunt because they're arguing. But a normal person would have just... Well, any person with a correct thinking mind, or close to a correct thinking mind, would have just moved out. That's what I would have done. But instead, she had no self-control, and she had to ask some psycho on Facebook to murder her whole, her whole family. Well, luckily it wasn't really a psycho, it was actually her aunt, the person who she actually wanted dead. And that must have been really scary for her aunt. But she did go to jail, and I really think she's going to do a couple of years in prison for that, plotting to have her family murdered. And even the dogs, why would you want to kill the dogs? But besides that, she is going to jail, but I'm still a little worried about that outcome, because she's obviously not going to be put in jail for life. She's probably only going to get like, like five or six years, probably not even that many years. I think when she gets out, her aunts and her whole family and everything, they better be very careful because she's going to be really mad that they took brought her to jail. They're the reason why she went to jail. She's going to try to get revenge on them. I'm 110% sure that she will. 
So they better set up some kind of protection plan or something for the family. Otherwise, they're all in a lot of trouble. But still, she's... She was absolutely nuts. If you want to do all that stuff, just move out, or don't do it at your parents' home. Like, seriously. Well, in other news, my movie The Night Striker is on its way. I haven't really been that motivated to work on it, to be honest. I have the first 35 minutes done, so I only have a couple scenes left. But still, I haven't been motivated to work on it, because I had a lot of other stuff going on with school and work and everything. But I'll tell you this, once I see more Joe Winko hashtags on Twitter, besides the one I've been typing, I will be more motivated to work on it. So just a heads up to everyone, seriously. So yeah, that's on its way too. So tell me what you think of this ep of uh, what this girl did. Do you think it's kind of nuts that, obviously you're all going to think it's nuts, but... She was really stupid, but I obviously think there must be another problem wrong with her if she couldn't... Because I, uh, I read in one news story that she hated living with her aunt, and she asked the guy to kidnap her and take her away, and that if her aunt tries to do anything about it, shoot her aunt. That's what I read online in, the newspaper, in a newspaper article. And also I read that... Uh, she was living with her aunt, and her aunt was telling her that she's not allowed to go out and go to parties at all with strangers. And I was like, what the heck? She's 19 years old. She can basically go out and do whatever she wants to outside of her aunt's house, because her aunt's house does not belong to her. And I think that she might have, she might have an underlying mental health problem. That's probably the case. So comment on that and tell me what you think. Do you agree with me? Do you disagree with me? What do you think of this whole story of what she did? And that's basically it. And the Night Striker is on its way, so look for it soon. And that's basically it for this episode of Joe Winko Talk. So don't forget to like, don't forget to comment, don't forget to subscribe. And uh, that's basically it. So peace out, people.